In the winter of 1946, three Bedouin tribesmen were shepherding their flocks on the northwest shore of the Dead Sea in the land of Israel, when one of them threw a rock into a cave in the bluffs that overlooked the sea. He was surprised to hear the cracking of pottery and decided to come back several days later to investigate what was in the cave. Crawling into the cave, he discovered about a dozen earthen jars. Most were empty, but out of the last one, he pulled three leather rolls. The largest of these rolls turned out to be what we call the Great Isaiah Scroll. It was a complete copy of the book of Isaiah in Hebrew, written out around 125 BC, that is about a thousand years earlier than any complete copy of a biblical book that we had available prior to that time. That was the beginning of the discovery of what we call the Dead Sea Scrolls, which many have called the greatest archaeological discovery of the 20th century. People naturally want to know, what are the Dead Sea Scrolls? Well, they're fragments of about a thousand uh, religious manuscripts, that is, handwritten copies of religious books, uh, found at one site called Qumran on the northwest shore of the Dead Sea. Out of these thousand or so scrolls, um, about a quarter were copies of biblical books. Those are very interesting because they are the oldest copies, oldest handwritten copies of biblical books that we have available uh, for scholarship. The other three quarters of that thousand scrolls were various religious writings from the community that lived at this site called Qumran. It turns out that they were what we would think of as a Jewish monastery. They were a group of celibate men. They were called the Essenes, and they lived in male community on the shores of the Dead Sea, sea dedicating themselves to the study of Scripture, to prayer, and to awaiting the coming of the Messiah. Many of their religious activities were striking, uh, would be strikingly familiar to us as Catholics. They practiced water washing for the forgiveness of sins, a daily meal, a sacred meal consisting of bread and wine, and they were ruled over by a supervisor, so to speak a bishop, and under him two ranks of clergy known as priests, and then the lowest rank of clergy known as Levites. They're absolutely fascinating religious community and their history and their religious writings shed a lot of light on the New Testament and on the early history of the church and the full implications of their community and their writings are only beginning to be uh, realized among scholars even though the scrolls have been known for about 50 years. Mm -hmm.